All right, we are at my newest listing right here, and we are in a beautiful city of Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, up by Erie. We're literally like, I think, 15 minutes or something from uh, downtown Erie, Lake Erie. And we are at my newest listing here at 2010 Creekside Drive. You can see it on the thing, uh, mailbox there. I want to do a real quick video. This is my newest listing. This one's going to be coming out in a few days. Right now we're getting ready, getting prepped. We have the... Uh, we have a photographer getting ready to get here. We're in the midst of cleaning. I'm um, here doing a little bit of things on the outside by the pool, which you gotta see the outside. Amazing. Uh, this neighborhood is so quiet, except for the fact that there's a youngster mowing the grass next door right now. So you're gonna hear that in the background. But check this house out. We're in Shenango Heights neighborhood, Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. Look at that beautiful mahogany. French style door right there and we're gonna go around back I'm gonna show you this outside this is gonna be quick guys because I know I'm running out of time right now and it's a far drive for me but I'm not scared to do a drive for a great great client who I've had a few things listed with and I want to help them out as much as I can and this is an absolute gorgeous house three car garage you got the vinyl siding you got the brick lower level Trex deck Trex decking, just under one acre, 0.97 acres. The guy loves using big boulders. This is nothing compared to the house that he just built uh, with the freaking wall he just did. is absolutely amazing. And guys, I apologize. I feel like I'm hurrying through this one a little bit, but I just want to give you a kind of a sneak peek. This is going to be going on the market. Right now it's, what, August August 27th, you got a beautiful playground back there, and there are walking trails that the neighborhood actually cuts. So if you own this property, they've had an agreement. There's like little lanes back here, little grass lanes that goes back to a creek, and the neighbors love to walk their dogs or go for hikes and stuff. So what they'll do is they'll they'll do a little pass back in the in the woods here, and everybody has their own, and it goes yard to yard. So it's a really cool aspect right there. Property line is gonna go right past that crab apple tree all the way straight to the back corner with that pine tree across the back as a bee almost got me. And uh, you can see the line of trees back there. I'm gonna go up on the deck. You gotta see this thing, this outdoor living space. Oh yeah, check that out. What's that? EXP Realty, Matt Durbin team? Yeah, that's where we're at, Durbin and Fairley team. So I'm gonna go up on the Trex deck here and as you can see, playground in the background, basketball court right there. You got the rubber tiles for the basketball court. Check out this deck, built-in grill. Talk about entertainment and how you could entertain here. This deck is huge. This upper deck, it's gotta be like 20 by 20, by 20 perhaps, something like that. You got the fantastic pool, plenty of patio space down there. The concrete, you can do whatever you want down there. Of course, we got the slide with the water running absolutely 100%. That's gotta happen. Beautiful pool. Look at the yard back there. Nice and flat. Hockey rink does not go with the house, but make them a good offer and that could stay with the house. If you're in the hockey, not everybody's in the hockey, I get it, but most kids, and most people, if you have kids, you're gonna want that playground, you're gonna want this basketball court, and you're definitely gonna want that pool. Look at this Vermont Casting Signature Series built-in grill. Check that bad boy out. All right, cool. Let's head inside, and we are gonna go into this three-car garage now. It doesn't look as the cleanest as it's gonna be when it's listed, but, it will be clean for sure. We're gonna have a list it here in a few days. Cleaning crew will be in here to make this nice and clean for the next owner. Three and a half car garage. This thing is a beast. Yeah, you could definitely get your trucks in here without a doubt, your SUVs. Walk right into the entryway here. This is gonna be your mud room on the left. You got ceramic tile flooring, beautiful cabinets. This is a mud room. Used to be a laundry room. They converted into a mud room. I think it's a fantastic idea. As soon as you step in the house, you're gonna want a place to put your stuff. You got hooks, all kind of cubbies. Ceramic flooring is gonna continue into this kitchen. Granite countertops. Yes, they need cleaned. I know, uh, just leave me a comment, whatever you think on that one. Yeah, it's gonna get cleaned. Maple cabinets. 
Got a bowl and a half sink, I guess you would say, overlooking your outdoor space, your deck out there. Love the deep, dark maple. You got your hood, your range. Range is gonna be a Whirlpool five burner. I'm sorry, four burner, four, four burner. And you have your Whirlpool double oven right here. Look at all the counter, the uh, cabinets, guys. Maytag, refrigerator, stainless steel, all appliances are staying. You got dishwasher over here, LG, and you got a Whirlpool microwave. And look at your little breakfast nook right here. You got double doors going out, French style. Let me swing around to the right and you have, what's that? A pantry. And it even says pantry on it. The uh, glass, the, <laughs> I forget what, frosted glass, amazing. So you got about a five by five pantry in there. Double-sided stone with the TV fireplace on top. And you're gonna walk right into your living room, family room area. And these are gonna be about 18 to 20 foot ceilings in here. You got a balcony up there, fan all the way to the top. And we'll get a great view from up there down onto this uh, beautiful living space. But check that out. Excellent. And let me swing you around. You're gonna see, you're gonna have all kinds of natural light. The sun is actually on the other side of the house. It's on the front of the house right now. So you're still getting a lot of light with all these windows. You got carpet. You're gonna have carpet in the bedrooms and you got Brazilian cherry, Brazilian hardwood, I think it is. Brazilian hardwood uh, right here in your entryway and in your dining room. So you have two entries in your dining room, a nice arch archway into the dining room and you can also get into the smaller archway from the kitchen area so you go ceramic tile to the brazilian table is about eight feet long it gives you a little bit of a idea two enormous size windows this house was built in 2006 it has 3800 square feet of living space up here and then a seven another 1700 square feet of finished living space in the basement. You're gonna to wanna to see that guy. This is the office, absolutely enormous. Almost the same size as the dining room. Sitting right here and all oh, the nice, beautiful light coming into your office. You're not gonna fall asleep. I know I would if I didn't have any lights hitting me in the face. So again, double doors, look at these. Glass panes, two, four, six, eight, ten pane glass. You can shut the world out if you want. It does have blinds. There are blinds on the front windows as well. Now let's go back through the gorgeous entryway and let's hit the master. Right on the right is the only half bath in this house. So right now we have a half bath right here on the first floor with a beautiful bowl sink. Love these guys. And let's make a right before we go upstairs. On the right, you're gonna have just a little coat closet. The little, oh yeah, it goes way back there. All right, so it's about six feet wide, coat closet. These ceilings right here are about 10 feet by the columns and that's the walkway above us. So let's head into the master. Now right now they did take their furniture out and restaged it. So we have, this is not the right side. This is a queen size bed right now. And they had king size in here, which would eat up the room a little bit, but still plenty of space with the king size. That's a queen. And then we have a, a really cool tray ceiling with your light up, up yonder. TV mount. And let's step right into the master bath. And go back to the ceramic tile on the floor. Hey, vacuum, check that out. Double bowl sink. These uh, cabinets might be maple as well. They're maple or oak. These ones are maple, I think, still. Like a, I'm not sure the countertop. We are trying to figure that out. It's not granite. The bowl is formed into it. So if you know what it is, let me know. Lots and lots of cabinet space for your, for your master bath. Very cool. Uh, and then behind me, they used to have a tub, got rid of the soaking tub, and decided to put their laundry in here. So you got a little sink, 
and a little folding area for your laundry. And then you got the black glass block, toilet on the right, half wall, glass block, shower, enormous shower, by the way. Very large. Ceramic, uh, ceramic tile all around the walls. And then let's step into the master closet. Now this master closet is gonna have, instead of maple, it's gonna be oak. So you're gonna have oak cabinets in here, stained. Lots and lots of cabinets for you. And these guys pull out. So you can put your laundry in here. You got his and her laundry. You got a folding, or a, what was that, iron? I don't know what that is because I never iron. But you got an iron already situated in there with a light with it as well. Another pull out for laundry. You got a bar here for your clothes, a little hanging bar there. All right, guys, let's head upstairs into and go see the, uh, the other three bedrooms. So this is a four bed, five bath, well, four and a half bath. And check out the stairs. Love it. Real wide angled at the bottom. Nice curve to them. You gotta head right up to the upstairs. And we're on carpet now. There's gonna be carpet all throughout the, uh, the entire upstairs. So very cool balcony. What's on the other side is just gonna be a closet with more storage space, of course, because this house has tons and tons and tons of storage. Bowling ball for some reason. I gotta do something with that. But behind this door, it's got it's just screwed in but you do have some shelving. It's just screwed in, and then there's more and more storage back there that you could uh, put some plywood down and do. Check out the view of your living space down there, your family room, living room, whatever you want to call it. Very, very cool. Wide open concept. Pan over to see your entryway and the gorgeous arch window. There's double mahogany entry doors, the Brazilian hardwood floor and let's make a left into bedroom number two so this was the son's room check that out nice cool race car bed we got staged in here for a youngster very nice and this one this room is actually insulated more than the others uh, i'm not sure if that was planned but it has blown in insulation throughout the the uh, walls the exterior walls and this one is an ensuite so you got one closet here for linens. You got a walk-in closet in here. Check out the size of this walk-in closet for one of your kids. I know my daughter would love this. And then, of course, you have your own ensuite bathroom. So this is uh, not, this is uh, full bath number two. With this is a bath and tub. Or, I'm sorry, bath and tub. Shower, tub, combo, ceramic tile on the floor and on the walls. And all these entry doors, there's one entry door that's not solid. All the other entry doors are solid, solid wood. So let's head through. Check out the arcs. I love how they did the arches instead of just making it like a plain. You know what I mean? I think my, uh, my friend actually, my client did uh, design this, I believe. Or at least they worked with a builder. It was there have been one owner here. This is his, uh, this is a little girl's room. Man, this is <laughs> just the size of these rooms are perfect, absolutely perfect. I got to do some measurements so I make sure I get those on the MLS and on the listings. Of course, you have your walk-in closet here. Every single bedroom has a walk-in closet. Nobody gets left behind. Jack and Jill. Bathway or a bathway. What the heck am I saying? I'm, I'm out of source right now. Jack and Jill bathroom. Obviously, uh, <laughs> this is a little girl's side and she loved purple. So you got another ceramic flooring, ceramic surround walls all the way for your, uh, for your bath and shower. A little half wall, toilet. And again, this is, these are all hardwood, except for this is the only door in the house that is not a solid door. Not sure why. And on the right is going to be a flex room. So there's no closet in here, but you could easily convert this into another bedroom or maybe a little TV room for the kids. 
really bright in here. These windows are enormous. Go straight through. Of course, you got another sink behind the, uh, the door. Is just linen closet. And, and we are into bedroom number four now. And what's bedroom number four have? Oh, yeah. Another walk-in closet, guys. Check that out. Boom. Huge walk-in closet. Nice shelving, lots and lots of space in here. And that is the whole house. Oh wait, no, that's all of the upstairs. I've almost forgot about the, ba uh, the basement. All right, let's cruise down. I'm trying to do this before, before a photographer and cleaners and stuff get here. Um, so we're back down into just off the kitchen, the living room, you got your double Fireplace right there, dining rooms to the right. That's the front of the house right here. So let's go down into the basement and hit the rest of the 1,700 square feet down in this basement. So we're all carpeted. And under this carpeting is gonna be a waterproof carpet padding. So they were a little afraid, you know, having carpet in the basement just in case anything would happen. Although the pool is five feet, five feet lower than his, uh, than his bottom floor than the basement. but. You can make this a nice uh, seating area just over here. You got a gas fireplace set up for you. Back in this is just more and more storage and a sub panel box. So lots of storage. And so you have the garage storage, you have up above the master storage and you have in here for storage, sub panel box right there. We do have alarm systems going on right now and there's and behind a big glass door it, or glass, glass window and glass door is going to be a nice size gym exercise room got the rubber padded flooring gym equipment could stay make it a, make them a good offer uh you got your tv in here and uh let's see what else yeah just a good size a really nice size gym this is the muscle connection i guess muscle connections workout time guys workout time All right, so head back out here. Oh yeah, let's see the utilities. You got a utility room back in here with some more storage, more and more storage. You got a furnace that's been um, taken care of every year since its inception. It's a comfort maker. The gentleman who installed this swears by that over train. Pex plumbing, every single water source has its own home run and they are labeled fantastic idea i loved it that yeah, we did it in a flip i loved it so much all right so you got the tankless water heater right there main water line coming in there is a whole house water filtration system so you just gotta change your filter out so there's a whole there's a generac generator so the whole house if it, if the power goes out which it has up here from bad storms you're still gonna have your power oh wait there's a bed or a bathroom over here so this is just, this is going to be a vinyl floor here. This bathroom's enormous. It's a full bath, tub, shower combo, just the fiberglass. Toilet, little sink, you got your mirror, but man, you need to come in from the pool and maybe rinse off or something or change. You got all kinds of room to spread out. So much room, in fact, they put an armoire in here. All right, now we're headed back out into the fun spot. You got some shelving, got a TV mount. Used to have the gas fireplace out here, but they decided to rather do it the other way. So they put the gas fireplace back in the far right. But look at the, these cool seats. They have a tiki feet, uh, tiki feet, or the tiki, tiki, tiki bar type feel down here. And all of these guys are storage. So all these seats, all these guys lift up. You can throw whatever you want down in there. And a cool thing about these wood columns, they're tiki themed. I'm not sure of the actual wood. It's a real light, soft wood. And he actually ordered these from a guy in Los Angeles. So the dude out there makes them and send them to him. So it's a cool way to hide your, your support posts because there's gonna be beams running in here. So you got a metal support post right here full-size refrigerator, another dishwasher, a full sink, double bowl sink, 
and check out what they did. I love the tiki theme. Theme! That's what I was trying to think of. Tiki theme, not feature. And this, of course, they called the tiki bar. All right, so you got a jungle tiki feel. More storage, 200 amp service. There's for the generator. Lots and lots of storage. And then we have one more room to show. This was just a regular outdoor patio, like a, and they converted it kind of into a sunroom. So we moved some things in here. This stuff will be gone, of course. You got a pool cover, you got, uh, this is really cool. It's like stone, but they're like panels or whatever. So you can mount a TV here. This is a bamboo ceiling. Got your fan, got lights, and they enclosed the whole thing. This was all open, and it's just a concrete concrete uh, patio underneath. There's actually a drain in the middle of the floor right here where the carpet is. Um, you just pull that carpet up, drains right there, but they just surrounded it. Oh, that's a heater, gas heater on the, on the side there. But yeah, look at all the windows they installed. So you can sit out here in the winter and be nice and warm. They actually had their kids out here playing like with a foosball and whatnot. So you could literally put your pool table out here. Maybe, well, maybe not a nice pool table, just in case uh, the weather gets too bad. Although this is all insulated, so you're probably fine. But you can overlook your beautiful outdoor space. Hockey, hockey rig, basketball. Of course the pool, plenty of seating, all kinds of room for more and more patio furniture. You got the, the outdoor deck up above us. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of this absolutely enormous, gorgeous house. Once again, we're here in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. That's gonna be kind of Northwest Pennsylvania up by Erie, PA. Um, yeah, I do go up here. I go from Pittsburgh up to Erie. I got the west side. I'm here for you guys. You're making that move, looking to sell or buy, relocate, reinvest, reinvest, invest. Uh, I'm, I'm your guy. Hit me up. Part of the Matt Durbin DJ Fairley team here at EXP Realty. <sighs> That's it. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, guys, I just want to cruise through here real quick and give you guys a, a, a little glimpse of what we got coming on the market up here. If you're looking at Erie, this is your spot. This is your spot. This is going to be uh, probably in the eights. So not too bad at all. All right, guys, lovely neighborhood, absolutely gorgeous neighborhood. I'll throw in a little B-roll maybe of the, uh, of the neighborhood, or I, maybe I did throw in the B-roll. But anyway, guys, thanks again. See you on the next one. Keep it real estate.